Here's how to make a matched set of pinky and thumb helpers. This is a pencil grip. This particular one is kind of rough feeling. It doesn't matter too much. What matters is if it's the right size for your pinky. If your pinky can fit inside there and feel comfortable, this one is obviously too small for me, um, but if it's the right size for you, you can cut it in half, and I'm cutting it at an angle. So I'm going to wind up with a point, and that's going to be important. This point can fasten onto the pencil with a rubber band. This is a giant bead. Not a giant bead, but pretty big bead. Big enough hole to put a rubber band through. And I might have to work at this a bit. Oh, I got it through. Then when it's through, you put one end of it through the other end, like that. And when you have the rubber band fastened to the bead, you can take a pencil or a bow and put the boot on the bow and wrap the rubber band around that point that you made and slip the rubber band over the bead. So the bead is kind of a clasp that fastens to itself. Now I'm going to pull the rubber band more onto this point. Didn't come quite all the way through, but that's okay because I can move the rubber band. There. Part of the rubber band is, or part of the boot is held by the rubber band and your pinky can fit in there. This side can become the thumb helper and I'm going to cut, I think I'm going to cut the long side. Um, I'm going to cut right along the long way so that it opens up and I can slip it over the pencil and it stays on because it's curved. I can put my thumb on that thumb helper thing and I can put my middle finger across from my thumb and I can slip my pinky into the pinky boot and by wiggling my pinky I can wiggle the pencil and I'm having to pretend that my pinky is small enough for that boot. It isn't quite. I'm going to take one that is big enough for my hand. This pencil has two boots on it. Don't worry about that. Got one saved up for the next kid who needs one. Here is a thumb helper. This is made out of a different kind of pencil grip, but that works too. I put my thumb on the thumb grip and slip my pinky into the pinky boot and put my middle finger across from my thumb. If I turn my hand over, you can see that my thumb and my middle finger are working together and I can curl and straighten my pinky to steer the pencil. I made some figure eights on here and I'll follow that same path and I always want to pull the pencil. And when I get to the other side I'm going to turn the pencil over because this is good exercise for my fingers. Helps when I play the violin. Turn the pencil over and pull to the other side. Another thing you can do is wiggle the pinky to make a jagged line. That's good exercise for the pinky and you can see it from the other side. I'm going to pull again and you can see how my thumb also curls and straightens to make those 
zigzaggy lines.